very important information on House Bill 790 for literacy funding. This uh, information is for parents to be able to fill out the income determination form that uh, provides uh, schools with literacy funding for students who are in need of extra support and allows our school to provide uh, extra opportunities for students who are uh, needing extra support. So your help with this is extremely important for our students in our community to fill out this information. Uh, first off, there's a Privacy Act statement allowing you to know that uh, the information on this form is provided only to those who are in need of the information uh, for the purposes uh, that we have explained already uh, according to that House Bill 790. You do not have to provide this information, but if you do not, uh, LEAs or local education uh, agencies may not be eligible for amounts of federal funding calculating, uh, calculated by using this form. On this form, uh, the first uh, item that needs to be filled out is the family or foster child's family name. This would be the last name. So if your name was John Smith, you would put down uh, Smith down into uh, the, the form. Following that, uh, you can get to a chart uh, based on household size and uh, annual gross income whether that is uh, annually, monthly, uh, weekly, uh, you have various options there. The instructions uh, are also on here that you can be able to read through and be able to complete uh, the sections. Uh, what we're looking for is to be able to complete uh, sections A through E. And so you'd go through uh, putting in the name of uh, the school uh, that your children are attending and so if it were uh, Wilder Elementary, you would go ahead and put in that information there. <clears throat> You'd put in the number of uh, children attending the school. You'd also fill in the name of uh, the traditional public schools and district uh, that serves in the area where you reside. So if you're in the Wilder School District boundaries. Wilder School District is what you would put, number 133. And number of people living in the household, you can go ahead and add the people who are in your household uh, living with you, and you can put that number in there. Uh, then, according to the graph above, uh, is your family or, or foster child's yearly, monthly, or weekly income equal to or less than the amount on the income eligibility chart? So in this case, uh, having five in the household, I could go ahead, go to five. Uh, if uh, the salary was equal to or less than any of the numbers here in this row, I would then go ahead and mark yes. Um, if it is above that, I would mark no. And then, of course, being able to finish this with uh, the signature of the adult household member uh, and that printed name of that individual, as well as a physical uh, address and uh, filling that information, the date sign, 